Okay. Uh, Tuan, aliwat, mga kabuktuan, ilibot naman oh, natin sa atong para hanatong pagkutang uh, atong programa yun ang agad. What's that? Go ahead. Nakamute man tanan. Go ahead, Brother Glenn. Sorry. Wait, Sister Janelle, okay. Sister Janelle, eh, kuwana lang, i-mute, eh, i-mute, eh, uh, Sister Claire. Nakamute man tanan. Ada, Sister Janelle, eh, eh, eh. There's someone that's mic is on that I can't see. Everybody's muted, pero, who's that? Janelle, eh, dai. I, I, Janelle, Janelle, dai. Naka-on, eh, Janelle, naka-on. Ayun. Eh, okay. Hindi, hindi ko siya ma-mute. Jenny paki-mute lang yung phone mo. Dai. Dai, paki-kuan na paki-mute. Gabi, aliwat mga kabugtuan. Samtang ada kamo yan ha ti mga pwesto. Nato ni mga mga kabugtuan at halangyaw. O pengab i, pasalamat kita ng ginoo. Baga naman kita ng sanghi gayon para hindi nga ato na pagtitirok ang pag-ambahan na iyang aran. Masahid kita nga, alam nyo, hindi nga ato na natubang ang problema dito bukos sa kalibutan, nagkakamayada at maupay liwat na respond positive outlook for this COVID-19. Sa rin pa nga ni natong President and General Conference Ted Wilson, this is the most progressive, most promising times in our uh, days today at Seventh-day Adventists. So, mga kabuktuan, before ko ihatag ang natanan nga may mga parts, karoon ko lang maghataghin sa talahuran, hatanan na itong mga bisita, o ba yung gambihin natanan, labinagod han itong speaker, Dr. Ray, and also natin ang mga simbahan, Dok Margal. Yan ang agad din mga kabuntuan. Pagkatapos na akong bahin, may hatag ka ang opening song, hanapin song leader, para iba kung di natin magpiton nga siguro na iglesia, sister Edith Ibilio di Dahaloro, pinapundan. Nga na natin programa yan ang mga kabuntuan, abrihan, isang apang-am, puha natin magpiton na tigulang ng iglesia sa Sedof, Di ba kung di Brother Yolando Garcia? Nga nyo na ang gabi, mga kumutuan. Salamat pa kita, ginoo, na gintagan kita ni Gayon na bumalik ang aton maghahatag ang mensahe ng ating pagkawal ng Spiritu Hanon. But before that, mga kabatian ni kita, ang sama pinasahing awit, maghahatag ni Sister Chell Rose Lagarisa. Nga mga kabatian kita, ang mensahe, ni Dr. Ray Mitran ngan pagkatapos nina ay hatag tangahaw ang panahon ng doon aton song leader Mr. Edith Obilio ngan ini nga aton programa aton Buddha Worship in Kloklos sa isang pag-ampo na closing prayer nga hatag ni Sister Leia Arias Z na kabutuan aton di sentro ang aton mga nuna ng gabi hapan mo ng pagkarawat ang pulong ng ginoo Natag na ito ang panahon kay Sister Edith Pudil. Sister Edith? This or Edith? Bangin wara yun naman signal. Kau lamang ang dalang pan 
Ginoong na mong balaan, luwa sa kami, O Jesus, ning kalibutang mapitus. Sa matam ison nga takna, sa matam ison nga takna, nagampo ka, mika ni mo, umaluloy ong ginoo. Ikaw ang ma, ang urun ugmayo sa liganan way na ini ngon ka ni mo o amahan agam hanan sa matam i son nga tak na sa matam ison nga takna, nagtawag ka, misa nga lang ni Heso Kristong banaan. Ikaw rang makatabang sa tanan na Kalis danan, wala inga makaumpay kundi ang pagampu lamang. Amay namon nga Dios sa dekaw hakaytasan na ni motrono langit, labi to namon kalipay hin pagpasalamat kay mo. Tungod kay hama ka usapa, imulayot kami gin pagutan hini nga kahigayonan yan ang oras. Diin kami makahimuhin pamalandong animo brang ng mga pulong. Samtang kami nagulat ng tanan, animo ikaduhang pagkandi. Samun ginampo, ngan ginpapakimaloy gino. Nga samtang hidukre, in makikipag angbit, han na imo brang ng mga pulong, pinaghaliktura, hini nga oras. Kami nangangamuyo, mga nga tanan na mga gawasit iya imim, ang mga ini na imo dinihogan. Mga nga, nga tanan nga iya igpapakigangbit sa dang para maka pa basko gito na amon pagtuo ng pag-alagad haim. Nga 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 mga ini gino, may aplikar man ito na amon tagsa nga kinabit. Nga nga may paangbit liot na amon ini nga dot mga katawan nga dot amon palibot. Uro gilabinan ad doon uray pakamaturan. Bindisyon ni kami ginoo nga tanan, pagdayawo na ito'y mamahal nga ngaran, ngan pasaylo kami tamon mga sala, apulong buhat nga naon na una. Kaya niya mong ginampo, pinagit niya mong ngaran na ginoong Iso Kristo nga mong ginoo nga man luluwas. Amen. 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 We pray for blessings, we pray for peace, comfort for family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity. We pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering. And all the while you hear it spoken need. Yet love is way too much to give us lesser things. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? 
And what if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your near? What if trials of this life are your mercies in disguise? Amen. We pray for wisdom, your voice to hear. We cry in anger when we cannot feel you near. We doubt your goodness, we doubt your love. As if every promise from your word is not enough. And all the while you hear each desperate plea. As long as we have faith to believe. Cause what if your blessings come through like drops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your near? What if trials of this life are your mercies in disguise? When friends betray us, betray us, when darkness seems to win, we know the pain reminds this heart that this is not, this is not our home. It's not, it's not our Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your need? What if my greatest disappointment is the aching of this life? But the greater thirst this world can't satisfy. What if trials of this life, the rain, the storms, the heart is nice. Are your mercies in disguise? Amen. 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 Thank you. Pastor Ray. Okay. Damo nga salamat han uh, matahong maminsahi han kanta. Mawad ton mga lagarisa sisters. Better game? <laughs> ano, ito ba nakasurat dili? Lagarisa igloso, Pastor. Lagarisa and igloso. <laughs> ah, nga yan. Okay. Ah, very good. Ang no? guti ay, awad ito no, sa anak ni Pastor Andy. Okay, okay. Maraming so, salamat. Ang lagarisa, lagarisa, church school teacher. Nasa ni Sido. Okay. So, uh, once again, uh, good evening, han nga tanan nga mga kabugtuan nga kaupod nato nya na hindi nga aton uh, fellowship or uh, bible study uh, mga kabugtuan naton di da salsido ngan so good man sida kan pastor Randy hain ka na dala ha buray ha hain ka ba na kuan hain ka ba na quarantine city delete ha adi adi ha ite ha Ah, HA pa is dokre, ha HA ako na quarantine. It's Ihan. HA di di ha Salcedo Adventist Multigrade School. Karanila, antakin la, antakin. 
So, uh, wow, bye. Okay. Sering pan kanta, that's a blessing in this guys. Amen. Okay. So, magpapasalamat kita no ng ati kang kita iba-ibang mga lugar. Agini usa kita pinaagihinin sini sering naton na teknolohiya, no? Sering pa ang amon na uh, principal di diha uh, usang school uh, an teknolohiya daw ang Zoom ya na uso. And it has already become a, a fashion para han mga uh, teachers, no? So, kita liwat adi nagamit hini nga teknolohiya, no? And uh, pa bagan waray na imposible nga abuton an iba-iba naton nga mga kabugtuan, sa ikang iba-iba nga mga lugar, iba nga suok ang kalibutan tungod hini nga uh, teknolohiya nga aton ginagamit, no? Uh, and out pa nga towards the end of our uh, 100 days of prayer uh, ana aton maiba nga mga kabugtuan in makaabot gihapon or mahibarira ang mga ida sugod hini nga meeting okay so uh yada nga gabi uh, ipapadayon ko ana kon gin share iyo kagabi although uh, there will be a little bit uh, different title but it is very much uh, related uh, to what i have shared uh, last night So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, pwede na ba ako mag-share sa screen ko? Father Glenn? Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Okay. So I'll be sharing now my screen. Okay. Uh, nakikita na ba nila? Okay na. Okay. Welcome screen. Yes. Okay. Oy, brother Yulo. Na baga wari man kita na miss kita kagabi. Okay. Oh. So, ha? Kay Juan, nagbra-bra-bra na tanak signal. Ah, si Pastor, ay. Pastor, oo. Oh. Uh, Ma-mau da may da kita maopay nga teknolohiya pero kon anaton kuryente diri lot maopay. So ano an an teknolohiya diri na mamatch nato na no okay so once again welcome everyone to our uh, study this evening and uh, i count this as a great privilege to be with you tonight uh, of course because uh, pastor Randy's uh, invitation which i have misunderstood no uh, uh, mangaro akong pasaylo uh, pastor Randy Tungod kay uh, na misunderstood ko ni mo invitation na nakag-prepare ako hin mga haglaba ng mga uh, message no? nga kunta uh, inin aton meeting hamubo lang ta no uh, uh, message siguro mga 5 to 10 minutes ano pero na akong ginandam pansikan service man ini no so uh, pasinsihan nyo kay last night naman ini yan no Okay. Sering man nang uh, message ni Pastor uh, 30 to 45. Sige po, ba kay full good ini nga yan nga kuan, nga sharing kay para ma may kitong 30 to 45 minutes, no? Okay. So, adahi uh, Brother Glenn, uh, andam pagpasinsyahin, mahor halaba nga eksisyer yan na gabi, no? But anyway, uh, malaba man ko ko batunon nato no each one of us uh, our internet not is unstable unstable daw okay so na na na, na, na ano naririnig niyo ba ako diyan ha nababatian niyo ako hello hello yes sir loud and clear loud and clear yes ah, loud and clear okay. yes sir loud and clear tag flash didi ako ng screen nga your internet is unstable okay nag ano nagpakian ako okay naman uh, sister clear no okay so going back to the question how will your major and onwards be no kumusta din aton major yan na no 
I'm not referring to the mid-year bonus, no? Not of my teachers. I'm referring to the time of, uh, we are now in the midst of 2020. And uh, of course, we are going to face another months or uh, some months ahead of us. So, kumusta da ini? No? Amen in aton, uh, in ato bang yan ang pakiana. Nag-google ako. Ako mahilig ako mag-google, no? And gin ano ko kun ano gud ang pinaka the best na mga company sa bugos nga kalibutan no the world's best companies nan gitaga na kun resulta ha 1916 uh, 2016 i mean no ano sa nga Forbes magazine pag isgutan nga nato pag sinabing Forbes dire gud to basta-basta no uh, okay in the Forbes magazine, nagpakita ato ni uh, result sa tunay akong pakiana, naging Google ko. Nang gintagan ako hining the world's most innovative companies. Gintagan ako hin 20 ng mga leading companies sa bungkus ng kalibutan. Now, i-share ko iyo kung ano ining mga companies. Upatla na ako ning si-share iyo. Una, iton sinisiring nga uh, right move. And right move Nakakuha number one. No, it is a software and services industry based on Great Britain. And it has a market capitalization of $4.3 billion. No? An innovative premium of 91.26%. Okay. So, number one. Ang ayan nila ito number one. Kaya niya pa nga inyangalan, right move. No? Okay. So, ano ka doon ha? NetSuite. No? Still, software and services industry. No? And it's based in the United States with 4.3 billion market capitalization. The innovation premium is 87.02%. Uh, uh, no? Pag innovation premium, it is their ability to innovate based on their market capitalization. No? And number three, again, how did this ASOS? No? It's a retailing industry based on Great Britain no? with market capitalization of 3.2 billion. And innovation premium of 83.45%. Now, by hindi man inihira, pero may dausa. Kalimtan nala na ito ito iba. Nga nakakuha na akong atensyon kay pirmi ako yung nagamit ang ira produkto. Ito ang mga sinisiri nga, Jilid. Okay. So, inin ira produkto, uh, parang gamit ako eh. No? Number 17 hira, bugos nga kalibutan. No? With a market capitalization of 2 billion. Now, ha, nakita ko ini ng mga world's best companies. Umabuta ako ng panunahuna, ano lao di diha Pilipinas? Kung ano ang mga magkarit ng mga companies di diha Pilipinas. So nag-search liot ako. Now, didi, nakita ko nga ang mga nangunguna di diha Pilipinas, amo ang San Miguel Corporation. No. Okay, kita on ta. Ay, ito, oh. mm. Now, sering pa didi, ang mga naging survey, ang nagbaton nila, it, it is San Miguel Corporation, then we have the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, we have Google, Philippine Airlines, Ayala Corporation, ABCBN Corporation, no? Nisley, Procter & Gamble, etc. JP Morgan, that's an investment company. No? Now, nagunahaw na ako ini. Kaya na no, nga Aram Manera, kung ano ang, o Aram Manera nga, amo ah, yun pinaka the best ng mga companies. Tungod ito kay, may dahilagin basihan. Ang tawag ito nila, data or mga records. So, kung man dila Pilipinas, maugi apon. No? Why? The researchers were able to know the performance of these companies. Kaya na nung aram man nila ang performance ng mga companies na narit nila as the best companies. Waray iba kundi may adahira na access nga data or records of the performance of these companies. So yun yung nakahatag ako ng pagunahuna na nakapakiana ako which is more important to God these worldly companies or his church companies. Hay mo Sister Claire Hay mo pagunahuna. Hay ang daw ang importante ni ini nga mga worldless companies 
worldly companies or in our church companies? Is there okay? Huh? Parahan Diyos. Siguro, ang baton natin, ang importante ni para iba kundiri ang mga church companies. Church companies are more important than these worldly, worldly companies. Pero may papausa kita. Na ini nga mga worldly companies, entresado ira, ang ira sinisiring growth and performance. Pero ang church companies, sugad-sugad nga diri ra entresado kung ano ang ira growth and performance. Do we as a church give importance to measuring our growth performance? Because these companies give importance to measuring their growth performance. Pero mas rin kita nga, mas importante pa man ang simbahan kontra kini nga mga companies. So kung mas importante ang atong simbahan, our church companies, the question now is, do we give importance to measuring our growth performance? Siguro, it is a slap to the questions. Why? We do not actually measure our growth and performance. Kaya, siringan atong ginoo mismo a Lucas Kapitulo 10, versikulo 8. The master commended the honest manager because he had acted shrewdly for the people of this world are more wise in dealing with their own kind than are the people of their life. May kamatuoran. No? Kaini nga mga worldly companies naging site natin, they give importance to their growth and performance. Pero kita bagan, morela kita pagpakabana sa yung pahasa Cebuano. No? Baga diri kita, uh, di natin ginatatagan yung importansya ang pag-measure, ang atong pagtubo, ang atong performance. Ang bot yan na kung nagkakaada pa ba hin pag-record din aton mga sering pa mga activities. I had to uh, go TI pa ako. Ako panahon ng pagkabatan. Oh, pero may good ako nakabati simbahan. Pakiala. At sering, okay, uh, taong natabangan. No, di ba? Kamo, kamo siguro, nakaraan, taong natabangan, pagkaon na panghatag, etc. Nagkukulit yung data and activities. Iwan ko kung uh, may dapat yun na aginihim mo. Pero kutub lalo at pag Kulik, waray interpretation. Waray evaluation based on the data kung kita ba da, nagtubo o waray magtubo. Kung nagperform ba kita maupay o waray kita magperform maupay. Ikumparahan, past year na ito na performance, kumusta na ito present performance. So, sila nga ginoo, for the people of this world are more wise than the people of the light. May kamaturan and what is what I call as a slap to the questions. Kaya, kung ini nga mga companies naghatag in importansya, kay ano nga, diri man natin, tagan in importansya, ang pag-missure, ha natin pagtubo, ang pag-missure, ha natin uh, performance. Saring pa Tagalog, ang ating paglago sa gawain ng Panginoon. Ang natin pag-uswag, no? Kaya ini nga mga companies, nga ginsisiring natin, nga mas importante ang church kaysa hini, pero hira, naghatag man hin, importansya ang sinisiring nga performance. Sa ngilit yan ang agab eh, sisir ko ay eh, yung uh, unmissuring church growth performance. Importante nga na akong paglibot-libot ng Metro Manila, nga ibang mga lugar ng Luzon, amin um, na na akong ginatag ng lecture. Pero yan ang agab eh, medyo importante nga uh, related hini which focus so much on our personal life kaya ang title natin is measuring spiritual growth which is our 2020's greatest challenge measuring spiritual growth is our 2020's greatest challenge why kundi rin natin na measure natin spiritual growth direkta maarang kunhain na kita Kung nag-improve ba kita? O ipabalik ng Tuhan dere mao pa yung situation? So mao yun yung aton pag-iisgutan yan ang agabi. Our key text is found in Romans chapter 12 verse 3 and it says, For I say, 
heard a grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. It talks about the measure of faith. So, masisiring natin that uh, faith is measurable. No? So, samtang kita magpapadayon na pag painaw-ino hininga verse nga itong ginaadman, kasumpay nga itong ginaadman kagabi, I would like to invite you to bow your heads as I offer a word of prayer for each one of us. Our most gracious and kind and loving Heavenly Father, we know, o Lord, that by ourselves we can do nothing and we cannot understand the things without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray for enlightenment, O Lord, that the Holy Spirit open our minds, our hearts, that each one of us will be able to grasp the message that you want us to put into our hearts and to practice in our lives. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, ini nga teksto, no? Naghisgot haton in uh, usa nga maopay nga bagay. And that is measuring our faith. Now, ako ni nigin usisa, no? Pag usisa ko, na diskubrehan ko nga ini word na yan nga measure, no? Ini nga word nga measure, nati kang iya han Grigo nga pinulungan nga metron. No? Metron. Now, metron which is translated in the King James Version as Mishur, appears in the New Testament for eight times. So it has eight occurrences in the New Testament. Now, out of those eight occurrences, one time, it refers about quality measurement. Like, for example, what is mentioned in Matthew chapter uh, 23, verse 32, which refers to the magnitude. Magnitude, or degree. Ang kasalanan ng tao. That's quality measurement. No? Quality measurement. Now, out of eight occurrences, six times, ginggamit in yung word nga metron for quantity measurement. Quantity measurement. It's about numbers or heights or depth. No? That's quantity measurement. And only once lang siya ginggamit which I believe, no, kung aton basahon ang context, no, ang, ang placement hini nga uh, metron didah ito nga text to han Romans 12 verse 3, it refers to both quantity and quality measurement. Karagsignon lahin ni, eh, ang Romans chapter 12 verse 3 provides for us on the so-called faith formants. Ang aton pagtuohan ginoo, at Tagalog, pananampalataya. Ini, kinahanglan nga yan natin, tagan, hin, pansin, no? Pansinin natin, no? Nga ini nga yan, kinahanglan liwat, aton, imisure. No? So, this is about measuring our faith formats. Okay. Sining pa yan usang uh, commentator, Usain yan mga magkarit ng mga commentator nga kilala sa Christian world. He Barnes, commenting on Romans chapter 12 verse 3, sering niya, God will judge us in the day of judgment by our attachment to Christ and His cause based on Matthew 25. And what is the true standard by which to estimate ourselves here? So ano yung komentary didi? No? Mayroon, may dahiya sinisiri nga attachment dito ang Matthew 25. Ngan, ito yun na, mao na itong may isgutan. Ito nga mga uh, bagay, bagay, which uh, is very much related to Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Okay. Yan na. Just to have a short review on uh, a little bit about uh, what we do sometimes in research, no? or most of the time in research. There are two ways na ato na evaluate an aton kalogaringon or certain or on iba, mga bagay-bagay. No? Two ways 
to measure growth also. No, inagagamit ini naton in measuring growth. The first one is quantitative, no, and non quantitative. No. Now, para diri kita uh, magkuri pag sabot kay bagan uh, alaro man ang quantitative uh, nagre-refer na mga research no? which you as we usually do in the academic so quantitative para masabdan natin in simple la na pagsabot it refers to facts and figures so, ayaw kami ito kalimot no? quantitative ah facts and figures no? okay so if, it's, well, if this is one way about, of measuring our growth so we pay attention to the facts and figures. Okay? Then, we have also another way of measuring growth and that is qualitative. Ano naman in qualitative? Para diri lang kita magkuri pagsabot. No? Okay. Kung diri kita higara uh, trabawan mga researcher, mga ngalimot kit. Pero, may da kita madali nga pa maagi pagsabot hini. When we speak of qualitative, we're talking about feelings and feedbacks. Feelings and feedbacks. So, ma ito ang duha ng mga pamaagi nga pwede natin mamisyura na aton pagtubo, na aton pag-uswag, no? Didaha aton kristuhanon na pagkinabuhay. Kaya ito, napaka-importante uh, para mahibaroan natin kung hain na kita. Pero na, no, nga, kinanglan man natin imisyura na aton pagtubo o pag-uswag. Sugad nga mga kristyano, No? Uh, pamatihan natin ang insiring ni Bill Gates and references ko dito di rin ng mga basta-basta Forbes magazine ini Bill Gates no on Wall Street Journal had on December 26 at on 2016 no he Bill Gates nagsiring in the past year I have been struck by how important measurement is I would like to give emphasis or emphasis on that no saring niya I have been struck by how important measurement is to improving the human condition. Ini nga ni Bill Gates sa secular lang na pagkita. Gintagan niya ang importansya and measurement para ma-improve ang human condition. How much more for us Christians na dapat luwat kita maghimo o hinanglan luwat kita maghatag ang importansya and measurement and aton kristuhanon na pagkinabuhi. Sir Nia, you can achieve incredible progress if you set a clear goal and find a measure that will drive progress toward that goal. Pagka-open, iagin si ring. So, why measure growth? Kailangan lang man aton i-measure na aton pag-uswag o pagtubo. It is because Napaka-importante. Importante enduro, mga kabuntuan. So, hindi yan ha. Ang atong pag-measure, ang atong pagtubo is linked. Had doon, ginsiring liwat ang komentary ni uh, Barnes na ini related ang Matthew 25, in which I believe na ito related good man. And Jesus has likened the Christian life into a business. Okay. Ang kristuhanon na pagkinabuhi, gin parihas ito ang Diyos, no? He usang ang negosyo, business. At least, uh, mentioned in Matthew 25, 14 to 30. So, ano ini? Jesus is very much interested in our growth and progress. Karagsig nun la, ang Diyos, o na atong ginoo, entrisado, and aton pag-oswag o pag-progress. Ngan, masisiring natin that Jesus really means business in this. And speaking of this, uh, Matthew 25, it is all about our belief, beliefs and belief system. Natin ginisgutan gagabi. So, dili makikita natin na and performance formation paradigm na ginisgutan natin kagabi is very, very, very much related. And ato niya na ginisgutan. There is that opportunity, no? opportunity to improve ourselves, opportunity to grow, opportunity to 
Segunda to achieve peak performance. Ito, ato number one, it comes to us to the message. We hear, we read, naintindihan natin, we believed it formed our belief system which has become a, a great influencer of our Christian life and it contributes towards our performance. So, Didi, masisiring natin na ang talento ginisbutan ha uh, Matthew Kapitulo 25 which refers to Ona Body Temple according to Spirit of Prophecy based on the Spirit of Prophecy. It refers to the Body Temple refers to our personal abilities it refers to the gift of time it refers to our entrusted treasures or entrusted treasures by god and also to the mission of duplication or multiplication inihira mao an aton masisiring no na nagporma an aton personal belief system as an individual Christian. So, kumusta naman niya na? Ini nga aton sistema. Oh, kinanglan ini, hinsinisiring aton tagan hin importansya. Kaya masisiring ko mga kabugtuan that performance depends upon our attitude towards towards what? Towards ourselves in relation to the talent that God has entrusted to us. Anong atong attitude? Atong kalogarima? No? Atong body temple? Our personal abilities, the gift of time, the trust and treasure, and our mission of duplication or multiplication. How do we consider all this? Okay. Sigunta, our body temple. Well, of course, that's based on 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. Chapter 10, verse 31. Diri ko na babasahan, but you can take note. Okay. Para diri kita maghalaba, ura-ura. No? Okay. Body temple. Now, in speaking of body temple, of course, we have to consider our lifestyle assessment. Kumusta na itong mga lifestyle, mga kabugtuan? Ha? Okay. Kumusta ang changes? Ano na itong lifestyle? No? Ngayon, kumusta man ang aton pag-monitor ang aton uh, panlawas? These are very much related to improving our body temple. Ini nga mga elemento, importante siya nga mga elemento sa pag-missure. Ini nga area na aton pag -kinabuhin. Okay. So, lifestyle assessment can be done personally through a health coach. So, kung may da ka health coach, so, uh, Makakabulog yan pag-assist. Hanin mo lifestyle. No? May nakasangkay nga health professional, makakabulog yan pag-assist. Hanin mo lifestyle. Sunod. Kumusta man natin lifestyle changes? No? Kasahay, may na kita mga lifestyle nga siring pa diri siguro na ayon ang mga prinsipyo ang gino. Lalo na hindi Preservation of our body as a temple of the Holy Spirit, temple of God. No, kamusta? May mga changes ba kita? Siring pa small changes. May dalawa tini siring results. Pero ang result is mula liwat. Go ti ala. That we make some big changes. May dalawa big results. Another one. Inin tini siring naton na pagmumonitor na naton panlawas. Hindi rin nalang natin pabayaan na natin panlawas. We have to monitor it. Lalo na itong mga nag-edad ng 45 pataas. No? Kino ba mga 45 na dapat pataas? No? Oh, kinahanglan ng regular check-up. Pag sinabing regular check-up, at least once a year. No? Uh, itong sinisiring ang general check-up or sering panira, executive check-up. Importante ito. Kung nada na kita 45, pag pataas, no? Atun edad. Okay. Diri natun halabon. Diri natun natun atun ikaduha. No? Our personal abilities 
and potentials. Kumusta naman natong mga abilidad, natong mga potentials? Wore ba natong iglubong ini? Na oswag pa ba kita ini? Okay. Iba-iba natong mga talento. Pero sering pa didi, the greatest tragedy is not death but life. Life that fails to fulfill its purpose and potentials. If we fail to fulfill our purpose and potentials, ah, ito ang pinakadakong at trahedya ang kinabuhi. Diri ang kamata yun. Kung diri, ang diri natin paggamit ng atong mga talinto, atong mga personal abilities, atong mga potentials. Ako na discovery ko na akong kalugaray ngon. No? Tikang pa doon high school ako nga. Ano akong good gift, no? My gift is on writing and speaking. Writing and speaking. That's why I finally decided to narrow down my focus to the gift of writing and speaking. Mga ito na akong nadiscovery ako ng kalugaringon. And I have been trying to maximize and to fulfill my potentials. The purpose for which God has called me. Now I am preparing my 13th book. Nagtitikang nalot ako. Actually, it's already halfway of my 13th book. Kaya mao may ito ang gimbati ko sa wad nga calling na ito ng ginoo. Kamo ano yung mga personal abilities? O si saon na ito? Para may baruan natin kung di dahil ito ang potential na ginhatak ang ginoo, are we improving? Nag-i-improve ba kita? Nag-uoswag ba kita? Yan ito, makikita natin if we miss your. No? Kung atin ito, ginmimiss siya. Okay. Nagtukitan ikatulo. No? Para hindi uh, rin tala good halab on ini kayo. Actually, uh, kung i-discuss good natin ini in uh, Sering pa huro halaro mga discussion. Pwede ini mangin series eh. No? Pero we'll just touch it at the surface and yet we still will be able to grasp the message. The gift of time. No? Ang regalo han panahon nga ginhatag aton. Every new year is a gift of God. It comes to us in 12 months, 52 weeks and 365 days. Pag ginsiring natin ini nga New Year, diri karagsignon ito New Year nga ito January 1. No. Ang karagsignon ko hindi din nga New Year. Kada birthday natin. No. Pag nag-birthday kit, no. Gintagan kita ang ginoo in 12 months. Additional 12 months. 52 weeks and 365 days. Ngan ito, Ato na liwat, aato bangon. Pero kumusta man atong paggasto hininga panahon? No? Kumusta atong paggasto hininga panahon? Na-maximize ba natin? Okay, uh, I believe na siguro one of these days, we are going to, we are going to uh, hold also a time management workshop. Hindi higya po hininga atong grupo. No? Ano ha, ada ha iyo? No? Ano ha iyo? No? I have a lot of resources. No? on time management na makakabulig ato to improve ourselves no because we need to improve no and at the same time we have to miss your no we have to miss your or faith format okay nato kita han ikaupat no now god's entrusted treasures of course gitagan kita han ginoo in ma sigunta kayamanan no treasures No. Ngan ayo kita pagunahon nga kay ini ba manggod no magisgot nga nin treasure ani ra ganun na spiritual treasure dire literal good ini nga treasure nagin sisiring din he no nga gintagan kita kon ano an aton pag uh, pag mangno hini no kay stewards man kit no ito importante liwat nagiimprove lot kita Sering pan Matthew say say this is maybe binti lay up your treasures in heaven. No? So kinang lang may treasure good kit. Okay, you right. Do kita igli lay up kun wala kita treasure. Tama. Brother Yolo. No? We Amen. have we have to have the treasure. 
Kasi si Ringan Gino, lay your treasure. Now, how can you lay your treasure if you do not have a treasure? So, you must, you must have that treasure. Ay la pag ura-ura, kahit iba, nangad to ng treasure hunting. Nga, apag treasure hunting and treasure hunting, nakarag ng lot ang dako nga panahon, kaya waray pagod hasta yan ha. Tako ha, ito nga treasure. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of ways no, to earn. No? Anong siring ni Ellen White? The followers of Christ are not to despise wealth. No? Kaya iba, na siring, ay, very importante itong pagriko. Uy, importante ang pagriko, no? Hindi ka interesado magriko. No? Kay siring pa ni Ellen White, maybe you are despising wealth. But siring niya, siring ni Ellen White, the followers of Christ are not to despise wealth. No? They are to look upon wealth as the Lord's entrusted what? Entrusted talent. So that's God's entrusted treasures. So kumbaga, bintagan kita hin treasure han gino, di rila kay permanente la ito, ngasugad ito. No? Yan na, may da kita usang atindahan. After, after five years, o sila, gaya po na itong tindahan. No? After 20 years, o sila, gaya po na itong tindahan. Oh, waray mag-usuwag. No? Waray mag-usuwag. Siguro, after five years, oh, may doon na kita lima ng mga, ano, mga branches. No? Oh, ah, may doon na yung negosyo. No? Sinisiring nagmumultiply. No? Nagdadamo, ginpapadamo, na-increase. Eh. Kaya tagan kang ginoon talinto nga uh, duha na talinto. No? Two gold coins. Oh, pagbalik ito, dwa-double ito. No? Etc. That is how we give importance to the gift of wealth na gini-entrust ang ginoon aton. Na siring ni Ellen White, by a wise use of his gifts, they may be eternally benefited. But we are to bear the fact in mind that God has not given us riches to indulge impulse. Yun na. No? Ang riches, di rin gagamit dun para pag-indulge an impulse. Kung di rin ano, to bestow or withhold or to bestow or withhold as we shall please. We are not to use riches in a selfish way, devoting them simply to our own enjoyment. Kinang lang, nakaka-benefit. Yan iba. Because to lay our treasure in heaven, ang karagsigo nito, ang gamitin natin, ang atong kayamanan, kapag pauswag, han buroton, han ginoo. Amen? Mao ito ang mensahe. No? Okay. Let's sukit na natin ikaupat. No? The gift of time. Okay, kapat ba ni? Okay, ako man na natin ini, the gift of time, no? Uh, number three ini. Dito kita ang ikalima na. The measure of multiplication. O, anong karang sigun ni The mission of multiplication. Ini amo ang pagpadamo ang aton mga ginhatag na talinto ha aton ng ginoo. Mandiri lang aton talinto. Kita mismo dumamo liwa. No? Mag-duplicate kit. No? Para Itong pagkanta natin, han, kanta nga, Will there be any stars, any stars in our crown? No? Ang dumamong, ang dumamo ito. No? We duplicate ourselves because discipleship means duplication and multiplication. Itong siring pa, no? na nag, nagbunga kita. Na duplicate natin na itong kar kar uh, kalugaringon, pinaagin uh, mga mga hamiling ang mga kalag na nadara nato na mahal na mahal natin ilan na atong Diyos. Kapag gamit na ito, iba-iba nga mga talinto. Gift of singing, etc. No? So, umaw ito, ang aton usaliwat nga dapat taganhin uh, importansya. No? The mission of multiplication. Duplication and multiplication. Kaya no, pag nag-duplicate kita, ito nag-duplicate na duplicate nato nag duplicate liwat ang nag duplicate nag duplicate nag duplicate that's already a multiplication of our lives that's discipleship okay so ito makakasirin kita nga napaka importante nga yan nga kita ano tagan nato nin pagtagad siring pa importansya ang pagmisyon natin pagtuo ang aton ginoo 
Kaya si Ring San Pablo, for I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Amo in teksto nga si Ring ko very much related to our text last night. Anong si Ring hanagong teksto last night? Nainom doon pa kam? No? Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. No? And aton panunahuna, mga yung parehas ang panunahuna ang aton ginoo. So, diri sinisiring, do not think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Diri kita maghinambog. No? Kaya aton mga talinto nga di aton kinabuyo, diri na aton sadang ikapanghinambog. Kaya ano, hatag man lito na itong Diyos. Waray man kita, bisan guti ay nga porosyon ito nga nahi mo tika nga itong kalugaringon. They are all gifts from God and that is enough for us to humble no? before our God. So si Ring Didi, do not think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Because that faith is still coming from God. No? That still comes from God. So, diri kita maghinambo. An aton treasure, naging hatagan ginoo, didah ito ng mga bagay, zero capital kit. Zero. All of the Christian graces that we need to grow in this year and towards the years to come, our body temple, hataghan Diyos. Personal abilities, potentials, hataghan Diyos. The gift of time, hataghan Diyos. Treasured and trusted treasure, hataghan Diyos. Our Christian life mismo that is to be duplicated is still hataghan Diyos. Kaya dito, zero capital kit mga kabungtuan. We have nothing to boast according to Romans chapter 12 verse 1. And yet, with that humility, we have to humble ourselves and follow the plan of God that we have to measure our performance. Na aton measure and aton performance or faith performance. Ngan pinagi to may babaruan naton kung kita ato bangan ng ginoo naguuswag ba? Whether we are growing in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to Second Peter chapter three verse eighteen, and ako naghina at mga kabuktuan, ma each one of us would pay attention to all these Christian graces, where we need to grow and to give importance to measurement or to measuring our lives para. May baruan naton kung kita nagtutubo ba didahan aton o naguuswag han aton kristohanon nga pagpinagot. May the Lord bless us tonight and uh, I believe that God will continually lead us if we only pray and ask for God's guidance and leading. God bless us. That's it. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Doc. God Thank bless. you so God much. Bless. Wow. Awesome. Brother Glenn. Okay. Closing song na kita? Yes. Okay. Sige, kanta huntaan. I am thinking today of that beautiful land. I am thinking today of that beautiful land. I shall reach when the sun goeth down. When the wonderful grace by my Savior I stand, will there be any stars in my crown? 
will there be any stars, any stars in my crown when at evening the sun goes down? When I wake with the blessed in the mansions of rest, will there be any stars in my crown? Did it? In the strength of the Lord, let me labor and pray. Let me watch as a winner of souls. That bright stars may be mine in that glorious day. When his praise like the sea billows rose. Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown when at evening the sun goeth down? When I wake with the blessed in the mansions of rest, will there be any stars in my crown? Oh, what joy will it be when his face I behold? Leaving gems at his feet to lay down. It would sweeten my bliss in the city of gold. Should there be any stars in my crown? Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown? When at evening the sun goeth down. When I wake with the blessed in the mansions of rest, will there be any stars in my crown? Patronion, Sister Leia. Sister Leia, are you there? Sister Leia, for our closing prayer. Okay, let's pray. Our most gracious, loving God, thank you that we can live in light and walk in the truth. Thank you for the words the, and the message that we heard today through your servant, Dr. Ray Lebron. <coughs> With the things that you have revealed and those that we have shared, dwell in our hearts and steer us to action. Help us to discover more our abilities and potentials so we could use it for your glory. May we always work hard to grow in faith and in spirit. As we parted ways, may you bless each one of us as well as our loved ones, our relatives, and the whole Adventist congregations all over the world. <clears throat> Forgive us, Father, from all our iniquities in thoughts, in words, and in actions. We ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Glenn, may I say something, Glenn? Yes, yes, yes Pastor, go ahead. I, uh, I think uh, we follow the the role that uh, we give also our insights. Is yes, it uh, yes. still applicable? Yes, okay. Uh, we, can, we can have our insights after the uh, speaker. Supposedly okay. this time. This time yes. now. Apa. Yes, uh, okay. First, I would like to express my appreciation and thanks to Dr. Uh, Ray for the wonderful uh, presentation, especially the model that he has presented. However, this is just an information purposes. I would like to inform our church members that as a church, we are have also an evaluation. Uh, do not think na waray kita evaluation. We are very, very strict when it comes to um, evaluation, evaluating, although ang ato na, na measure is different from the World company, World company, pero ang ato model, so you might, you might, I think, 
evaluation Tunggan ko niyo Okay, for the rest who are not speaking, kindly mute yourself and unmute if you are about to say something. So let's have uh, Pastor Mergal uh, the floor. Go ahead, Pastor. Yeah, I just want to clarify because you deserve to know because you're a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, I am a leader of the church, and I would like to inform you that the church as a whole has an evaluation. In fact, we are very hectic when it comes to evaluation. Anaton evaluation, usahay katulo, hausa katuig, although ang atong standard is different from the worldly companies, tungod kaya ang atong standard is more on spirituality and mission. So, dire ka mong magunahuna na we are slack on that. Ang inyong mga leaders is doing their best on how we will be able to improve and grow in our spirituality and our mission. So, that's one. And then, uh, I really appreciate uh, Pastor Ray for his model about PBS. Dire luwat natin kalimtan ng atong hisgotiyahan, personality belief system. Kung maghisgot nga ng itahin, personality, personality belief system, itong word belief, very good natin kukuhaon. Ang pag-measure, uh, mahitungod han atong growth, han atong pagtubo, bidahan atong kahibaruhan din noon. So sumalahan, dos Pedro, nagsaring na, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, diri natin ito kuhaon na measurement. Yes, we measure time. We measure sa ating health. Pero, kinahanglan, i-appeal good natin pag-measure ang atong uh, growth sa atong knowledge, may tungod, kaginoong importante good ito ang atong pagtubo na Kristohanong. And then, ang model, kanina nga di, kung ano yung Dr. Ray, may tungod ang faith performance Atong hinungduman na kung maghisgot kita ang measure of faith, we are talking about spirituality. Ngan kung maghisgot kita ang spirituality, we are talking about maturity. When I was still in the seminary, I developed, I was teaching also research, we developed a measure on spirituality. So may mga area kita na gusto natin ng patubuong. For example, in prayer, in witness, ngan iba pa. So amo ini ang aton direction ha pag measure ang aton pagtuo ug gitawag naton na faith uh, maturity. So ngan dida hindi nga aton mission ni very good naton kuhaon ang role han grasya kay sumala han aton gintunan very good kita matubo kung pinaagi lahat aton pagtuo. Faith performance alone will not help us grow makabulig ito kaya mo ito ang aton ang makapaini ang aton kamot nga ma gunit ngadto han kamot ha Dios nga mo ni grasya so kinahanglan gud kita nga magtubo nga kinahanglan kita nga i-appeal gud naton ang grasya nga Espiritu Santo aton gintun ang hadtong mga nagligad nga mga simana nga kinahanglan kuno nga magtubo kita didah grasya kaya ang grasya Amo man ito ang makabalhin ha ito. It is the active, transforming, energizing power of God to transform us. So kung naghisgot kita, mahitong mo din growth ha ito, belief system, growth ha ito, personality, spirituality, kinahanglan good na ang pundasyon, mao ang grasya, ang atong pagtuo, amo na laini ang atong ibunit dito ang grasya ng Diyos, kaya ang grasya ng iya espiritu ini makakadugang ng atong pagtuo. So amoy na ako nakashare ha iyo. At least uh, magkatampo-tampo ini ng mga model na gihisgutan. Gani, hi, ano ko pa ini, may model man hi Martin Luther. Hagroth, sula grafia, sula pidi. By faith at by grace alone. Kinahanglan nga ini nga duha mag-upod ini 
para nga magtubo kita ha atong Kristohanon nga experience. Salamat. Amo lang ako na. Amen. Ugan. Thank you Dr. Marcel. Thank you for your insights. Okay? So atong uh, gusto kong makabatihan atong mga women's ministry, ang atong mga women's ida at ide Natidit Maragas at Edith Abinilio. Uh, Pastor Ray, you're raising your hand. Go ahead. You, okay. okay, so very, uh, I would like to uh, thank Pastor Maragas for that uh, very nice uh, insight. Now, na again, Jira Aton. Lest uh, I will be misunderstood. No? Well, I believe uh, that I have no sering uh, pa um, no doubt, no. Because aram ko nga didi aton simbahan. We are very much aton aton organization is very much uh, very much uh, paying attention to evaluation. Didi uh, ikbaw, no. So, for example, departmental may ma evaluation, no. Uh, every year, damo nga mga evaluation na ginihimo na ito, no? And that is uh, very good to uh, nat, nakakabulig nito sa pag-help, no? Uh, what I would like to uh, just emphasize is that uh, the the value of evaluation, waray na itong mailusad sa local church. And that is what I'm going to emphasize this evening, no? Waray makalusad sa local church. Yan. Uh, kung may mga evaluation man di sa local church na itong na area, Uh, very good nga tanan siguro. Di nila siguro sa mga dago ng mga simbahan. No? So, uh, di di amon ng mga simbahan, ng mga good tiyay lang ng mga simbahan. Uh, Wari ko na babatian nga ginihimo nga sugat ng aton na uh, paghatag ng importansya di nga taas nga uh, siring pa uh, level ng aton organization. No? So, uh, thank you very much, Pastor, for uh, bringing that, that out. No? So, uh, Importante ito na uh, at least uh, na-emphasize ni Pastor na we are really giving uh, much importance on evaluating at the performance of our church. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Ray. Actually, uh, ito nga yung concern. Uh, that's uh, a reality. Tungod kay, yes, uh, ibabaw, uh, we are very uh, updated when it comes to evaluation. Pero di dahil mga local churches, of course, there are other factors. Kaya ini nga, kung mag-isgot ka na of quantitative, qualitative research, this is very technical. Ano ito mga members in town, di rin pakaabot na. So that is a challenge to our leadership in the church na ma-educate ang ito mga members kung unan hong ang pag-conduct uh, uh, yung simple nga evaluation kaya before ka mag-evaluate, kinahanglan ka man mag-develop o valid na instrument. So even uh, developing a valid instrument, uh, waray kakayahan pa gawas kung may mga churches na may mga educated na naka-add to ha PhD level, master level. Pero haaton niya na na situation uh, makuri pagod kung haaton kahintangan haaton ni Iglesia. But That concern is a rea reality. Nga challenge na ito nga really come up because uh, evaluation really is very important. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, doctors, now, sa pagulito niya observation. Good day. More or less, if you will go to the uh, go back at ang dahindamo kita ng kakalusot ng tatlo ng iglesia no na labi na gudin niya ngada ng anya Manila walay na I have seen a lot of young people before no na kwan na gud parang hindi na ibabalik na I guess it might be because of the limited kind of evaluation no na evaluate kuna ng gud pastad din ng mga member okay so may dalto pa iba ng mga hata gato ng Inside any questions, mas mo pa siguro kung mapakayan na kita, no? Kung at least maklaruhan ng kita, kasi yung part natin sa bahan importante kami. How to measure and evaluate our napapanahon na siguro. That is why we have this one. 
Eh, matun, mga member kong English na ligot na nakakaintindi kung pa, paano mag-evaluate nila itong church. Tatagay mo yung questioner, magkakalambog lang itong siguro. <laughs> so, it might, be, it might be nga, you have to go down to the lowest, no? the lowest of the... It's a challenge for us, siguro mga pastor. I don't know if there are conferences are doing also. Ah, like this one. In, fact, because, in fact, uh, Brother Glenn, but yes. ada ko had division, uh, ang usagod ha amon na goal, amon ang pagtutdo ang mga pastor pag conduct in evaluation. That's it. Uh, and then we try to give lecture on research na ito ha itong mga directors. Bisa nga na director level, uh, they, they were shaking their heads. Kung mag-isgot ka na, how to validate the questionnaire, how to uh, design the questionnaire, how to conduct quantitative, qualitative, oh, uh, right na. So how much more kung ato pa itong ikuha ni Dihaubo? So, but I am not saying that that is not important. That is important. In fact, it's my burden in the division. In the division how we are going to uh, internalize ni ini nga konsepto nga iniunta, mahimo, ini nga intentional di daha ato ni Iglesia. Tungod kay, this is really very, very important. I've been teaching research seminar. Kung nakita ko how important it is. So, kinahanglan ko kunta. So, but it has to start with uh, the pastors and then the pastors will also train our uh, church leaders and then church leaders, of course, kung kamaroon na hera, uh, it's, it's easy to adapt. But That's I good. really agree 150% that this is very, very important to the church. Pero, hulat-hulatun uh, lang natin, anay, nga siguro, we will come up Ngan, this kind of forum is very important. Kaya siguro kung mag-schedule ka mo hin sa kasimana, siguro mabalik kay Dr. Ray magtutuha aton may tungod yung research. Okay. Pastor! Pastor! <laughs> pwede ko na pwede ko na hunahunaan ba? No?